Hello and welcome to another video. On this video, I'm gonna explain to you line by line what this code is supposed to be doing. It's regarding the NetSuite uh, Suite Script 2.0. And on previous videos, I have shared with you guys the code to create a sales order. And this video, I have a function here that is gonna check, it's gonna return basically a true or false. Is this a new order? Like the function name is, is new order. You can name it whatever you want. But basically what I want to know is before I create an order, I want to know if it's new or not. So basically I'm pushing in here, I'm passing in a increment ID, which could be an order ID, could be anything, your order number. And from wherever you are doing your code, you can pass an order number, an internal ID or some value that the sales order has uh, on its body of in NetSuite. So in my case, I'm gonna be looking at other ref number. That's an internal uh, internal value or internal field uh, that I'm saving a value. So in my case, I'm saving increment ID. Uh, this value is coming from a Magento uh, platform. So I'm storing it in the sales order so what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm gonna be searching. And for this, you need the search module uh, on your top uh, header for this file. Not this one, but your main. I'm using a restlet, so I'm, I'm doing this uh, differently, not here, but on the template that I show you, uh, when I started this series, there's a restlet template. That's where you add your modules. So here I'm creating a search and I'm saying I have a search of sales order type and here's my filters. Now these filters are just examples. Your filters can be anything or differently, obviously. But as you can see, you get the point or the idea how you can start. So I only want the main line uh, to show up or search. And then um, I want stuff or sales orders to be searched on or after April of this year, 2019. And then, after I remove a lot of data from there, then I want to search for other ref number. Yours could be different. Yours could be some another value here. And I want it to equal to my order number, in my case. And then, I'm telling the sales order or the search only return the other ref column one column that's it nothing else because all i want to know if it's in there and then i'm saying okay run and then give me a range now obviously in my case your case might be different but i'm requesting from zero to ten and it should only be one but just in case i want to know you could add some logic here additional logic but I just want to check if I have anything first. In my case, it's always unique. So I know I'm gonna, I can get the first one. So as you can see here, I'm explicit in saying from my array, which is the search that I'm getting back, I want the first one. That's why I have a zero index. And I'm saying get the value, which is this column or value here, and that's the name. In my case, like I said, keep saying that again, because in my case, it's unique. Uh, no two order have the same number in here or value. That's why I'm getting just the first one. And I'm saving the PO in NetSuite. It's called PO, but in a different platform, it's called different things. So I'm just saying PO number, uh, do you equal what I'm passing? So I'm, I'm comparing what the search found with the increment, which is what I passed to the function. If it's equal, then okay, return false because you're not new. We already have this order. So then I can take action. Now, if it doesn't match the first one, that means something uh, doesn't match. So I'm going to consider it, in my case, as a new order. So you might have to do some looping here because I have a range. So it might make sense for a different scenario that you might want to loop for each of the S, which is the array, and compare the value. But in my case, I don't need to do that. 
So you can use this code as a template to give you an idea how you can search uh, things before you create them. So this is just to search if it's new or, or, or not, but obviously you can use this to search other values on demand. And finally, if, if the search didn't find anything, so you can see here zero, I got nothing, then I'll return true. It's pretty basic uh, search uh, function, but it's really helpful on searching values. So if you have any questions on the search, let me know. I'll try my best to help you. And stay tuned for the next video on more SwitchScript uh, 2.0 videos. Thank you for watching.